Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2010 Keystone Bullet. This is a 281 model, so it means it's a bunkhouse design. Um, it's about 29 feet long and a real awesome feature about the Bullets is that they're very lightweight. So it's full aluminum framed. This coach only weighs 5,200 pounds. So to get a 29 foot trailer, with uh, bunks and a slide out, that's really nice and light. So let's take a quick look around it. This trailer is in basically in very good shape, but there's a couple little issues, I'll point them out, very minor. The awning's in great shape, looks good. This is a feature I wanna point out about Keystone, is that they have this wide space between the axles, and that's basically, uh, it just uh, adds stability. The axles are further apart, it makes the trailer tow more stable. Now this is a great design, especially for a 2010. You see this on a lot of 2014 models where the bathroom is accessed from the outside and the inside. It's very nice to be able to run in there and use the bathroom without traipsing through the whole coach. Oh, real quick, I want to point out that you got uh, levelers, nice heavy duty uh, manual levelers all the way around. Real nice shape, got a spare tire. These are the windows for the bunks, so they all crank out, so they've got vented or uh, good ventilation, even in the rain. Some access to the storage. And just a nice thing that Keystone does, you know, they use high quality compartment doors. These are nice and thick, good quality thumb latches. So they're just a very well respected company. This is the water heater, and it's a six gallon direct spark ignition model. So just real easy to use. You got a 30 amp cord, it's about 20, 25 feet long. There's hot and cold water behind here. It's an outside shower. And this is your water fill and your city water connection. And then just a, a lot of storage up here. And I don't know if the camera picks it up, but this is the, it shows the aluminum framing that they use. All right, on the front of the trailer, you got two nice big LP bottles up here. Comes with a battery. Some of the condition issues I noted were just that the decals were peeling. So nothing major. All right, let's take a look inside. Now when you walk in the main living area of the trailer, the first thing I notice is it's nice and spacious. You've got a big boots or U-shaped dinette that makes down to a bed. Also this sofa makes down to a bed. It's a little bit smaller. And you've got some ample counter space, big one-piece sink. And then there's a lot of cabinet storage in the slide and all the way around. The microwave is real clean and you have a range top and an oven so you can do a little baking. All right, the refrigerator, again, in great shape, nice and clean, almost looks new. I mean, interior wise, the coach to me looks new. Um, the fabric, everything, no stains, not torn. So it's in good shape. Got a little bit of extra storage here next to the fridge, so like a dry storage pantry and then a drawer. And um, the two bunks are huge. They're like double bunks. You got a 250 pound limit, 250 pound limit on the top one and the bottom one doesn't have any limit. Uh, and there's a little bit of nook storage in the back side of the bunks. And this is the bathroom. So you get a nice size uh, tub in here. I'm 5'11", so I just fit in here and got the toilet, sink, built-in medicine cabinet, and there's some nice storage over on this side too. Looks like it'd be a good closet for the kids, for the bunks. All right, then walking up front, you've got a flat screen TV in this model. You've got a DVD, CD player, AM, FM unit that does just about everything. And it's also got an auxiliary hookup. And then Keystone does it where this thing uh, swivels around. Go the other way. And you got like a magazine rack. Uh, one thing I notice about this piece, it just feels real nice and heavy. It swivels real nice. So Keystone does a good job on the quality with this. Uh, let's take a look in the front. And you've got a queen bed here. You've got <clears throat> nightstands on either side and shirt closets on either side and big storage overhead. So that's nice. You got a queen bed and there is some storage from the interior. So, it's a nice used trailer, whoever gets this is going to love it. 